The segmented worm has a closed circulatory system. This system consists of, believe it or not, five hearts. The hearts surround the esophagus and then branch off into blood vessels, which are wrapped around the digestive tract and go all throughout the worm. Unlike the segmented worm, the lubber has an open circulatory system. The lubber has only one heart, which is located in the abdomen. Because the lubber does not carry oxygen, the lubber's blood is green. Contrasting to the lubber and crayfish, a squid has a closed circulatory system. There are several hearts, which are located near the top of the squid's head. The heart then leads to the cephalic artery and into veins branching to other organs. Like the lubber, the crayfish has an open circulatory system. There is only one heart, unlike the squid and segmented worm, which is located right behind the brain. It doesn't quite have a circulatory system. It uses a water vascular system instead. The water enters, enters the ma madreporite and then gets pushed through the radial cannon in each of the sea star's legs. The radial cannon, which looks like a long zipper, connects to small tube feet, which are on the oral surface of the sea star, and push the water out of the body in order to move. Segmented worm's reproductive organs appear as light-colored tissue surrounding the hearts. These reproductive organs are thinner than that of the other organisms dissected. The lubber's reproductive system consists of the gonads or reproductive organs. The gonads are located right above the heart. The squid that was dissected in this experiment was male. The squid reproduces asexually and has a penis inside of it which none of the other dissected animals had. The penis begins right above the eye and ends right below it. Reproductive structure in the crayfish is found next to the intestine and goes from the head to the center of the body. Like the worm, lubber, and squid, the crayfish reproduces sexually and, therefore, has a sperm duct that leads out to the bottom center of the body. This sperm duct stems from the reproductive organ near the intestine. The gonads, or reproductive organs of the sea star, are circular, squishy, and orange-like. This is different from several of the other animals that have long tubes for reproduction. The gonads were found under the sea star's digestive glands and were relatively small, like the lubber and segmented worm's gonads. The gonads might be small because the sea star was not killed during mating season. During mating season, the gonads are big, and when it's not mating season, the gonads are small.